What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. We're going to get right after it today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Give me just a second here. Let me know where you're tuning in from, what you're working on, what's new. What's up, Bernie? I see you. How's it going? All right. Let's do this. Got to get my, my windows in the right spot. Usually I do this while the video is playing in the background, but I figured this time I would, uh, we're just going to throw a live. What's going on guys. Welcome to the stream. This, this could be a long one. This could also go really, really, really short. Here's why. Uh, so my wife has the big kids. Um, oh, Hey, what's up? Bernie says was good watching me on Skillshare. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, don't let me distract you from learning something awesome. <laughs> Uh, anyway, my wife has the big kids. <coughs> They're going to grandma's house and, uh, I'm home with the almost two year old who's taking a nap and I've got, I've, <laughs> I've got my iPad on my desk here. You can kind of see, and I'm watching her and she's waving at me in the camera. She's like, Hey dad, what's up? So we'll see. I just laid her down. If she falls asleep, I can go for a while. Otherwise this is going to be short. <laughs> So we'll see how we do. So let's get right into it. So what I want to do today is I'm trying to work on my Behance portfolio. And uh, this is a hoodie that we made the last couple streams, kind of playing around with adding logos, changing colors and stuff. And I want to add this file for my streamers, or, I'm sorry, for my subscribers. And so um, that's what we're going to do. Bernie, what, what were you watching on Skillshare? Which course were you watching on mine? And what do you want to learn next? I'm actually working on my curriculum for what I'm going to be recording next. So let me know in the chat, guys, what you want to see next from me. So right now what I'm doing is I'm pulling up my, uh, this other window here, I got to pull up my profile. This is the other stuff that I usually do while I'm waiting to go live, but I figured we'd just go for it. I'm gonna share a new project. All right, so this is what we're gonna build out. We're just gonna put all the stuff in here. Let's just start going for it and see what happens. So, um, let's just add some text. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see. Style it. Let's edit the text. It's been so long since I've edited this. There we go. I don't remember how to do anything in here as far as adding projects goes. It's been too long. That's the thing. Like, if as a graphic designer, typically, if you're busy, you're not updating your portfolio because you're busy. You got real work to do. And then when you need work, uh, <laughs> then all of a sudden you're like, I need more work and my portfolio sucks because I haven't done anything. All right. So how do I change? Let's just, let's just, uh, photo grid settings. <laughs> Cancel. All right. Let's just export this part up here and see how we like it. Sometimes I work, uh, cleanly. That's even a word. And sometimes I work fast and loose. So like in this case, I'm just going to make this almost full screen. Command shift four, click and drag. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of just this section right here. And I could do slices like web slices and stuff. Maybe I'll show you that. I don't know. Awesome, Bernie. Let's check. Can I can I pull your stuff up? I guess you pasted the link. Let me check it out. Have I seen? I think I might have seen your stuff before. This is Bernie over in the chat on Behance. Super cool stuff. Look at that. That almost looks like Big Mountain. Cool. So do you do mostly Photoshop stuff then? Is that what this is? Cool. 
Um, whoops. Doing some Photoshop and trying Illustrator. Give you a follow. Boom. All right. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm going to add an image. I'm just going to throw in that screenshot I just took. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it works this way. This is the laziest, probably most terrible way to work, but I don't really care. I also realize I maybe have 10 minutes till this kid wakes up. I mean, she's up. She's just... We'll see. At least she's quiet. She's happy getting her her uh, her nap time. Okay, that's not terrible. I mean, it could be better, but it's not terrible. So, um, okay, uh, let's go ahead. Where did I even save this? I think I saved it to my desktop because I was. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so if I open this up, yes, it's this file that looks clean. We got the hoodie. Yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and add that file. I think I need to zip it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm going to compress surf hoodie.psd just on my desktop here. Oh wow, Bernie, I have three grown children and a granddaughter, that's awesome. <clears throat> all right, and you were the one right in the stream the other night that's in college right now, right? You're doing college classes. All right, so let's jump over here, attach some files. Oh, I've got to put this. Okay, so I got to I got to throw this file into my Dropbox area. Okay, so what we're going to do I'm going to go to my Dropbox. Global shared assets. Let's put this under, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's make a new folder and I'm gonna call this Behance subscriber perks. Boom. Just gonna throw it in there. And now Dropbox is gonna automatically upload it to my Dropbox account because I have it synced with my Finder window. I'm gonna right click on it and go copy Dropbox link. And if you have the Dropbox app installed, you'll see all these menu items in here when you right click on that file. And you'll see the little blue double arrow thing. That means it's still uploading, it's not done yet, but it'll be there soon. So let's jump back over into here. Let's update the file URL. I'm gonna make it subscribers only and hit add file. done boom all right so what I want to do this kid is ridiculous you guys so funny I I know I already said this with live streams it's hard when people join in they don't hear what I said up front but like I said this is gonna be a short one I've I'm watching my daughter she's in her crib right now taking a nap and uh, well I say taking a nap She's not sleeping yet. I was hoping she'd fall asleep and I'd have like an hour or two to go live. So we're going to try and get through this as fast as possible. So at least it's done if I have to uh, get her up and go back into dad mode here. Okay, let's see. What else can we do to this? Styles. I mean, this is pretty basic. Hoodie mock-up. I think that makes sense. Um, maybe I do something like this. And then um, Command Shift 4 to take a screenshot. Of this whole chunk right here. What's up over on YouTube? I see you. Thanks for jumping in. <coughs> All right, let's jump back to my portfolio here. Let's scroll down, let's add another image. Let's add this new screenshot I just made. Hit upload. That's kind of cool. I 
That's probably good enough. I mean, it doesn't have to be super crazy, right? Um, I would like to do more. That sure gets me close though, doesn't it? Um, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, I need to edit the settings. All right, hoodie. Apparel, Photoshop, mock-up. Why is it not? Hey, thanks for the likes over there on Behance. All right, this is graphic design. This is, I mean, you could call it fashion. Sure, why not? Let's do that. What else can we add for this? There's probably more we could do. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna hit done. <coughs> oh, good. It looks like my daughter's finally given up and actually gonna fall asleep so we can do a long stream. I love it. She's adorable. Okay. Um, I, oh, just kidding. She sat back up. <laughs> I need like, I should have put like the feed on the, on the stream so you guys can get, see. She's like wiggling around, wiggling her bun around, you know, like she, she just sat up and now she laid back down. She's so close. I think she's going to sleep. All right. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, all right, Behance visibility. This, okay, so I think I can make this visible to everybody, but then subscribers get to download the content. I'm pretty sure that's gonna work out right. So let's give it some tags. So let's call this apparel. Let's call it um, Photoshop. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do commas on this. It's been so long since I've done this. Uh, apparel, Photoshop, uh, hoodie, sweat, shirt, sweet, sweat. Yeah, E-A-T. Okay, words are hard. Um, Photoshop, sweatshirt, mock-up. I don't know. That's good enough. I don't even know if that's going to work right. I'm going to hit publish. Ooh, I can promote my work. Here you go, guys. Check it out. Check me out. Woohoo. Okay, so now if I open a new private window and I go to that link, let's just see what happens. So you can see it even if you're not logged in. Hoodie, mockup, editable, Photoshop, file. Huh, cool, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right, oh, I know what I need to add now. So it's got files, cool, yeah, that works just how I want it to. So now what I can do is, I think I can add the video replays to this. So let's see where I made, let me, can I go this way? No, okay. Um, Sorry, the only reason why I keep bringing my screen over and back is because um, I, don't, I just want to make sure like some of the private information doesn't pop up. Um, cool, that worked out. That was so fast. That was so easy. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do some more stuff to it. Let's. Um, I think I'm gonna add a video replay if I can find that. Oh, and she is up. Look at this. She's ready to like try and jailbreak. All right, well, as long as she's still happy and not screaming. Oh, laying back down. Okay, she's teasing me. All right, <clears throat> let's grab those replays. Go to my Behance profile. She's jabbering. All right, let's go to my live streams. Okay, so here's all my live streams, which also need new thumbnails. We definitely need to circle back to that at some point. All right, so this is one of them. 
So if I copy this link up top, I think if we go back to the project, and again, I apologize guys for bringing the screen back and forth, back and forth. I'm still getting used to what sections, like how to, how to navigate through my projects without like user information popping up here. All right. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit project up here. <coughs> you guys, if you get a minute, update your portfolios today and then share the links next time I go live. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. All right. That's your homework for the day. Update, throw, even if it's just like an image and a title update, jump onto behance.net, update your portfolio, or I think port, is it portfolio.com or myportfolio.com? I don't remember. Okay. Let's add. Let's add text. Let's say, watch the replay. Can you guys hear Georgia? Oh, no, she's quiet. Watch the replay. Let's center this. Let's make it. Oh, that's fine. That's whatever. Okay, let's add a video. Nope. Um, let's do a link. Oh, embed media. Can I embed the replay? I don't think I can. share. There's the link. There's the embed code. Let's grab all this. Copy it. There we go. Cool. And now you'll be able to see all of that. Add another one. So this was which one is this? This was on the 26th. So we want the one from the 27th. This kid is ridiculous. All right. Um, yeah. Right. That's the right one. That's the one I just did yesterday. Yeah. All right. So we're going to share it. Grab the embed code, copy it, <coughs> come back into here and let's throw that in there. Embed. All right. Now let's rearrange our project because I want this thumbnail to be up top. So click on the pencil tool, reorder project. We're going to grab this image, bring it up here. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and update the project. And then I need like a call to action, like a subscribe. Something basically so I've got the subscriber area now and I'm, I'm not really doing a good job of promoting it. Cause I don't really, I don't know. Basically it, it's an area where you can get my premium content. So when I do these live streams, you can get access to all the files. Um, let me see if I can grab. Oh yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. And I can't see it. Um, just, I'll pull it back up here in a second. Okay. So, um, I have a subscriber area through Behance. And so this is the premium content that I have posted right now. It's, it just started. So there's not as much here as I'd like there to be, but I'm constantly adding to it. Uh, here you can see this hoodie apparel thing. So the stuff over the front says subscribe to unlock. Like the whole thing is, is all you have to do is click on any one of these and just sign in and, um, subscribe. But like this upward course is, the entire, it's access to the entire freelancing course that my wife made. I helped her, we worked together on it. She's, she, we worked together um, for for like 10 years, we had a design agency and she was the project manager and helped us land work and uh, basically helped us 
make money because I was a good artist, but I was a terrible business person when we first got started. So she helped manage all of that in, in this course. Um, and you can, if you want to see more details, my website, DerekMitchell.com, scroll down a little bit. It's just right here. There's like a video, an intro video. Um, there's my wife. Um, and so she, she talks about like basically the gig economy, the gig economy it, it's called. Let's see if I can find that. The gig, G-I-G economy. So basically like, you know, this was even, even before COVID, this was starting to become a huge thing where people were working from home and doing things. Now more than ever, you know, when, when a lot of people were stuck at home and unable to go anywhere, we were still able to work for clients all over the world, right? Um, there's a great, sorry, babe. Um, nice freeze pose of her making a funny face. Anyway, she shows how to set up your Elance profile, populating your portfolio, submitting proposals, communicating with clients. She's got um, all kinds of stuff, even PDF downloads and Word docs of the contracts that we've sent to clients. So you can just like drop in your name and basically update these and, and land work. So um, that's what this course is. So when you subscribe, it's only 10 bucks a month. Uh, you'll get free access to that course. And actually you could subscribe for a month, get free access to this, cancel, and then you've gotten this course basically forever. So there's a hack if you want it. Um, <coughs> and I don't, I don't care. I, genu I genuinely want you guys to learn and be able to have access to this stuff. Um, and then I do some behind the scenes stuff where I do like some Marco Polos, like, Hey guys, I'm about to go live and here's some things. So also I just started that. So it's starting to get fleshed out as well. And then this hoodie mock-up thing. So the link, if, if you're interested guys, if you just go to behance.net slash Mitchell's garage slash subscription. Anyway, it'll pull it up. So, um, yeah, there's that. Thanks. Thanks in advance for the support. I know some of you are waiting uh, to join till like payday and stuff. And I, I, again, I thank you so much for your support and jumping in on this stuff. Um, so what we're going to do now, uh, I added, I added this stuff. There's miles, my dog, one of the dogs. Cool. All right. So all this is added. What were we doing? I got distracted and I apologize. Oh, we were going to add a subscriber button. That's right. Okay. So let's go. Um, <coughs> let's see. Let's go. How do I want to do this? Behind the scenes. Uh, content and exclusive design files. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll say click here to learn more. We're just gonna go just like this. We're gonna make this a link. We're gonna paste in that URL, hit done. We're gonna make this a tad bit bigger. Oh, that's a lot more bigger than I wanted it to be. All right, how about this? How about this? How about this? That's better. Bolder, bigger, better, bolder. Okay, now I want to add space above and beyond, below, and I don't remember how to do that. How do I do that?
cool. Okay, I think that's good. Update. Cool. I'm digging it. I love it. Super great. Basic. cool all right that's pretty much it i think that's all i didn't know how much time i was gonna have so i've got time for q a because it looks like my daughter fell asleep and we're gonna get a good nap time here so uh, if you guys want to ask me some questions i can hang out for a minute um i think i'm pretty happy with how that turned out <coughs> so the next thing i was going to do uh, I'm just going to move this off. off to, uh, let's just close it. Let's just close it. Okay, so we had some other apparel things I was working on. So on this, I just took a screenshot, and there's some other things we could have done, like with slicing, et cetera. Because what I'm doing right now, this document is 2,000 pixels wide, and it's just super tall. Because uh, I was basically going to design out the whole page for this. And I could have designed some buttons that looked a little cooler than just plain text, but but I hadn't done that yet. So we could work on that a little bit. If you guys have questions, let me know. I just realized my Behance chat has been closed. Let me pull that back up in case there's some comments there. I don't get the, I don't hear those like I do on the other ones. Are you kidding me, Stacy? Thank you so much for subscribing. That's awesome. I appreciate you. I see you. Why is it not letting me pull up your name though? So cool. Love it. I'm gonna follow you. Got a new follower. Awesome. <coughs> All right, so brand new subscriber. I need a button like Ryan Selby has where he like pushes it and then on the stream like animations come up. Super cool stuff. Uh, on that note, if you guys are new to Behance, I see some of you are watching over on YouTube. Some of you are on uh, uh, Facebook and Twitch watching the stream today. My primary home for streaming is Behance.net. So check it out there. But there's a lot of other really great streamers, a ton of great streamers. Um, Ryan Selby being one of them, uh, doing some animation, after effects, motion design. Actually, Bernie, you should check him out if you haven't seen his stuff already. Um, Ryan, there's a ton of them. There's a ton of great, you know, a great, great group of people doing subscriptions and they all have different things like brushes and, and vector packs and LUTs and all kinds of things you can get as, as stuff. So anyway, Stacy, thank you for joining. Be sure to check that out. Um, the, by that out, I mean the freelancer stuff. If you're into that or whatever, let me know. And um, I've got a lot of cool stuff in the works that I'm literally working on this weekend and through next week to try and get up to the subscriber area. So um, yeah, thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> so let's, I, I kind of want to add like a new project. That's just the classic surfboard company. So where this came from, this classic surfboard company, there's a replay somewhere on my profile, but basically I used a random word generator to come up with random words to design a logo kind of as an exercise of practice, how to do better. And so the words I got was classic surfboard and company. So that's where this logo came from. Even, even though 
um, like this isn't a real company, it'd still be fun to post this as a, as a project. So what I want to do is bring in everything that I did and designed these surfboard designs I did on my iPad and illustrator on the iPad. And then I saved them and brought them into Photoshop and did a bunch of cool stuff. And I talk about that in yesterday's stream. You guys can watch the replay to see how I got to this point. Okay. Uh, this whole graphic approach, uh, super inspired by David Carson on Masterclass. If you guys haven't seen that or heard of him, he's an amazing graphic designer. And his style is just kind of got, he just kind of goes nuts, right? He, he ignores the grid. He just, he just, pl just throws all kinds of stuff down. Super cool work. And, and this is clearly um, inspired by his work. So what I want to do, I want to make like a classic surfboard company mock-up thing so when I don't know what to do I tend to just move my canvas around a bunch and I'm doing that I've got the move tool selected in Photoshop I do that by hitting the space bar on my keyboard uh, just quickly hitting the space bar which then changes to the hand tool so then I can drag this around and I just do that a bunch I zoom in and out so to zoom spacebar then hit the command key or control key if you're on a pc and then you can click and drag to zoom in and out and you'll notice up here it still shows that my move tool is selected because i've got the move tool selected but by holding these two fingers down this changes to the hand tool and then holding this down next to it changes to the zoom tool and then i just click and drag to zoom in and out so my hands are always kind of floating right here on my keyboard and that's what i do when i'm warm warming up I see some like meh faces from MD Mom Mamuder Mom, over on Behance. I'm not sure what's going on, man. What's with the what's with the meh faces? <laughs> All right. Um <coughs> so let's do stuff. I just don't even know what to do. Okay, let's bring over the logo. So I gotta jump into Illustrator real quick. I gotta open up this project file, which I tried to do earlier. Illustrator might be, oh, you guys. So yesterday, while this is opening, yesterday on the stream, I was like, oh, I'm hearing some thunder. I need to probably shut this down pretty soon. I'm starting to see some lightning out the window. And I was like, I should probably shut things down. So I shut off my computer and I've got a Synology NAS that has like all of my files on my drives and stuff. And, and I, barely shut it down and I unplug it, set it on the desk next to it. Cause I just had this feeling like I need to turn this stuff off. Right. Um, I'm not usually too worried about it. Usually I have cloud backups, but this time I just didn't have everything backed up yet. And so I walk into the kitchen and I see this boom or I hear this, like the loudest thunder crack and light at the exact same time. It was like instantaneous. And our neighbor's house, a couple houses up their tree got hit and caught on fire and some of the power went out. It was pretty epic. There was like fire trucks and like the, the bush fire truck trucks. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like the big trucks that go out into fields. Um, they're all out here for like two hours last night. So I'm glad I shut the stream down when I did. It was crazy because it was raining so hard, like just, just a downpour of, of water. And it was still, the tree was still like way on fire, not going out because it was just immediately lit up. So crazy. That's my story. Uh, Why well, was I even telling you that? I don't know. I was kind of, that was story time while I was waiting for my file to open up. Okay, so I've got this um, classic surfboard company. Let's see, I don't even know where I put this file. <coughs> Finder is not, doesn't know where I put it either. Okay, I'll just grab it this way. So let me copy this. I'm in Illustrator, Command C to copy it with my selection tool. And this always confuses me, I don't know why, but this black arrow tool, which basically does the same thing in Photoshop, is called a selection tool, and, or in Illustrator. And in Photoshop, it's called the move tool. And I know they're, they're, there's like nuances of why they're different, but I still think it's funny. All right, so Command V to paste this. I'll paste it as a smart object. Scale it up a little bit. Rotate it. 
it's not straight. So I'm going to use this line below me to kind of get it close. So Command T. What's why don't I have my anchor point? Usually you can see there's like a little here. Let me. So this is a smart object. I'm going to right click and convert to smart object. So it's going to nest it inside of a smart object, kind of like Inception. I didn't do it. I don't understand. So what I'm trying to do. Maybe I'm just thinking of Illustrator and not Photoshop. So in Illustrator, I'll just do it in Illustrator. I'm just going to copy this. It's going to throw it over here somewhere. Okay. So here's what I was trying to do. If I bring down a guide, And I can rotate these or I see the letter R and you can see you got this little tiny green, it might be tough to see on the stream, but that's where it's gonna rotate from when I rotate, that's the anchor. So what I can do is I can click right down here and I can rotate and it's gonna pivot no matter where I click and drag based on where the anchor point is. So what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna bring the letter Y, you can see the base if I zoom in real far, right down there, hit the letter R click right down there and then I can click anywhere I want and basically get that almost exact on the horizon line right so so that way I could I could do that and pivot it that's what I was trying to do in Photoshop I don't know why I really thought I really thought I there should be what's going on can I nest this can I break it apart let's try and Un, let's see, let's rasterize this layer, which basically flattens it out into pixels and forgets the fact that it's a, uh... okay, something is weird on my settings and it's probably a preferences issue. I'll just figure it out when I'm not streaming. All right, so I'm gonna copy this <coughs> back into Photoshop. Let's come to the top. I need to find the drone footage. Where would that be? Um, nope. Okay, this was in Washington. Oh, geez. Or Port Angeles, I guess. All right, here's the original drone footage I took. So cool. It's my wife and my kids playing on the beach. Drone's about to take off. Such a cool spot. This is called Salt Creek in Washington State, um, kind of by Port Angeles, Washington. So that's the uh, the sound out there. And the water goes so far back that you can like find critters. You see like my daughter's burying mama's feet there. You just like sink down in there. It's so cool. Um, why was I even here? Oh yeah, this is a surf company. So we got to find like a cool surf image. Um. I could just literally sit here and just watch the drone footage. It's so cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I need to find a good, oh, okay. Oh, this will work. This might work. This isn't what I was looking for, but this might work. Okay, 
so what can we do with this? Let's make a new layer. Let's go grab this teal color. Let's play with the blend modes a little bit, maybe color overlay. That's kind of cool. What's up, MMM Designs? Says, I'm back. Good to see you. So for those of you just tuning in, um, watching my daughter here on the iPad, she's uh, taking a nap. My wife took the big kids to grandma's house. So we're just doing a quick stream here while I've got some time and the baby's sleeping. So... At any given point, I might have to bounce just because, you know, if she wakes up, I'm going to go get her and we're going to go to grandma's house. But in the meantime, we are making some stuff for our uh, for our Behance portfolios. So that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Only Dre Dog. Wrong account. There we go. You were cracking me up the other day. So funny. Hope you're doing good. Welcome back. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for uh, coming back to say hi. Um, all right, so let's save this. Command Shift S. Let's save this as. Oh, this is a huge file. This is like 5,400 pixels wide. This is way bigger than we want it to be. So let's crop it like 2,000 pixels wide for our Behance portfolio. <coughs> Excuse me, man. All right, Command Shift S to save this as a. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, crap. What's this called? Classic Surf Board. Co. Behance portfolio header. Wow, that's a lot. Um, hopefully one day I'll do good. I'm sure you will, man. Uh, this is the worst. I have the worst workflow when I go live. When I'm like working on a client stuff, I take the time to set up files. But when I go live, it's like I just throw stuff all over the place. I throw screenshots on the desktop and then I'm like, I'll clean it up later. And I never do. I never do. I never clean it up. I, I immediately jump off stream and I go either eat some food or like mountain bike or play with my kids or something. Uh, anyway, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's save that. We're just going to save it on the desktop. This is the worst. Guys, don't do what I do. Don't get sloppy with your files. Save them in folders and stuff. I just don't have the mental brain power right now to not do this right now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hit. I don't. Ah, it's too big. Okay. Let's just keep going. Let's just, let's just keep going. Let's just duplicate that layer so I can kind of play around with this and just see what happens. 
throw the opacity down to like that. Let's turn this one back on. Bring it in front. There's a lot going on here. There's probably too much going on here. This brand was inspired by David Carson. So I'm trying to kind of live up to that hype here. It's the layout of this. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shift click all of these layers at Command G. Let's rename it and let's just call this V1, as in version one. Command J to jump cut all of those, that folder. So now I've got two sets of the exact same thing. I can turn off this one, let's rename this to V2. And now I can keep going um, and try some different things, not worry about messing up what I've already done. Okay, um, so here's a little tip. Okay, so this blue layer, I brought this in. Here's the original photo. It's over the sand, so there's not as much color going on, but I want the color to match the surfboard designs down here. So I brought this blue color over, and I turned it on, and I changed the blend mode to color, so it's colorizing everything. But I want the waves, the water, not to have a blue tint to them, this little foam you know, froth, whatever. I want it to be white. So I'm gonna double click, just kinda on the right of this title, the name layer. Double click here to open up my layer styles. And I want the underlying layer. So right now I'm modifying the blue top layer. I want the layer that's below it, which is the photo of the waves. Anything that's light, in this case, the white foam froth, whatever you would call it. I want it to show through. So in this layer style for the blue layer down here under blending options, can't see it, my head's in the way, let's move that. Um, we've got blend if, blend if gray. Okay, so this layer, if I adjust these sliders, it's going to literally adjust this layer, but I want the layer below it, the underlying layer. So I want if the tones are white or light, I want them to pop through. So by crunching this down, crushing this, you see this, these waves turn white again. I'm gonna hold the option key down and then click on this to kind of split these a little bit just to make it a smooth transition. And now, that looks so cool. I'm digging it. It looks a little, I mean, it's still pretty vibrant. I like it. interesting thing about this design I'm just not feeling it yet but um, these aren't like surfable waves right so it kind of I don't know if it makes sense what I'm really liking check this out so the negative space so where this the, the shape of this logo it kind of follows the shape of this wave right here like it's the same I don't know it just nestles right in there nicely almost like it was on purpose. All right, um, <coughs> we're so close, we're so close. Let's, let's just, I guess, save it for now. What's up, Mark Loops, creative Shopify agency over on Behance says you are doing great. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. All right, let's save this. Command shift option and save. So it looks like this, it looks like you just mash your hand on the keyboard Command, Option, Shift, and S. And you're gonna get the save as, save for web, legacy window. Interesting, okay. So I already knew this, but I, I didn't know, 
so I already knew you could right click. Okay, so right here it says tip, use file export, export as, or right click on a layer for faster way to export. So I already, I already like, if I wanted to do one thing at a time, you can right click and just export, quick export as a PNG or export as. I do that all the time um, for single layers, but I wanna see, I'm just so used, used, used. Is that even a word? I'm so used to, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so tired. Um, what's up, Bernie? Says be right back. All right, man, thanks. Um, uh, what was I saying? My fingers, my hands. I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I'm used to just smashing this keyboard shortcut. But I need to get used to Command Option Shift W, not S. Right? We the save for web. That's this guy right here. This is the old and busted way to do things, right? So command option shift W brings up the export as dialog box. Look at how pretty this one is. It's all sleek and modern. All right. So by default, the format is a PNG. Let's change this back to a JPEG. The reason why, if I leave this as a PNGs are fantastic for transparency and alpha channels and things like that. We can get into that later. Notice the file size though. This thing is huge, it's 3.8 megabytes. Huge for a web graphic. If I change it to a JPEG, the quality is gonna stay almost the same, but look how much smaller this is. With 300 kilobytes, what is that? Four, eight, 12, it's like 12 times smaller. I think, yeah, math is hard, that's why I'm an artist. Okay. Um, but you can adjust all of these other settings too. The biggest thing that I always wanna make sure of also is that um, convert to sRGB is selected. That stands for, or, or this is the, the, I'm sorry, this is the color space it's exporting to and it's the most universal color space. So if you're on an Android or an iPhone or a Mac computer or a PC, the colors are going to be limited. So it's not gonna be as, maybe not as vivid as it could be if you've got a really nice high quality display, but your chances of the colors looking the same no matter what you're looking on it from are gonna be better. So make sure you have that selected. Um, you can add a scale size. So I could say, hey, I wanna make this graphic twice as big and I'm gonna click the little plus sign to add it. Uh, and that did not work how I wanted it to. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. My bad. So this, we're just doing this main graphic. So it's gonna export a 1X version at 2000 pixels wide, and it's gonna do a 2X version that's gonna be 4000 pixels wide. So if I click export, this is handy if you're like designing websites and you want um, retina display sizes. Uh, desktop, oh my goodness, this is, this is turning into a train wreck. train wreck because I'm not doing a very good job with my files today. It's all right though. All right, <clears throat> jumping into Finder, going to my desktop. Let's go find that folder I just made. And look, we've got a 1X version that is about 307 kilobytes. It's 2000 pixels wide. This will be perfect. This will be perfect for my header. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. That's me in the corner. Down, oh, wrong screen. Um, that one, that one. That's me in the corner down here with the drone remote in my hand. That's so funny, I didn't even know I was in the photo. Ha, huh, I love it even more now, okay. Um, that's, that's cool. All right, and then we have the, the at 2x file version, so it's gonna be 4,000 pixels wide, right? Twice as big, and it's about 815 kilobytes, which is way overkill for what we're doing right now. So let's grab this guy. Let's go back to our portfolio we were building. I've already lost it. How are you guys doing? You guys enjoying the stream so far? Has this been fun? You guys learning anything? I'm looking for, did I close it? Oh, I know why. It's because I didn't even, I wasn't building this into, got it. All right, let's go back to the screen. <clears throat> so I 
I also, it looks like the stream on Behance is getting a little jittery. Are you guys still there? Is it working out okay or did the stream get weird? It looks like it's jumping around a little bit. All right. It might, it might be jumping around a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to get ready to go get my daughter up from her nap. All right. So I made all of this here in a different Photoshop file. I could do a couple different things here. I could go to file place embedded and I could actually go find that Photoshop file and place it. It's like inception. It's a dream within a dream. So this is a Photoshop file inside of another Photoshop file. I hope some of your minds just melted because this is such an incredible way to work. Cause what I can do now is I can double click on this as a smart object and I could go make some changes here. Like, I don't know, change the color to something else ridiculous. Oh, that's a different layer. Let's try it this way. Save it, close it. And look, that header updated in this file as well. Super cool, embedding images and stuff. So you can build templates and do all kinds of cool things with that. Just make sure you don't move the files around or the links will break. Uh, Bernie, I say, yep. Does that mean the stream is fine or the stream is like glitching out and being weird? It looks like I might need to reset some stuff. Okay, um, let's change that back to the right color. Save it, close it. And I'm gonna have to go here pretty soon, guys. <sighs> I like the idea of this. I don't like what's happening yet. And maybe it's the purple that's messing. I maybe need to switch colors. Um, good news though, this is an editable template. So we're just gonna swap colors right here. Ugh, I just don't love this yet. So if anything, hopefully this inspires you guys. It's glitching. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. Hopefully this inspires you guys uh, to jump in today, update your portfolio, make something cool. And uh, yeah, I would love to see it too. So, so that's your assignment for the week or maybe even for the day. If you get a minute, jump in add an image or a logo or something you've done to your Behance portfolio, post it. And then when I go live next, which will probably be every day this week, maybe even tomorrow, uh, we'll check them out. So I'm going to bounce because I think the stream's getting a little glitchy and I'm going to get ready before my daughter wakes up from her nap. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Thanks so much for jumping in. I hope you learned something cool today and we're going to see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I wanna remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say, thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live and to be sure you don't miss it. 
like like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things all right guys thanks for watching we'll talk to you later